As part of this section, we will see basic transformations we can perform on top of data frames such as filtering, aggregations, joins, etc. And we will be using Spark SQL as the interface to perform these operations. We will also build end-to-end -end application by taking a simple problem statement. Application is a bit big word. We can actually say solution rather than saying application. So let me change it to solution here. So we'll build end-to-end -end solution by taking a simple problem statement. Here is the agenda for this section. First, we'll start with uh, Spark SQL overview. So we'll actually emphasize on some of the standard transformations which can be taken care using Spark SQL. Then we'll define problem statement. The way the problem statement is uh, designed is to cover all the important basic transformations which we typically use on regular basis. We have to prepare the required uh, tables so that we can actually explore all the features related to basic transformations and hence we'll be focusing on preparing tables along with uh, loading data into those tables. So we'll be creating two tables based upon the problem statement which we are going to solve towards the end and also keeping whatever basic transformations we want to cover as part of this section. Then we will actually talk about projecting the data using select clause, filtering the data using where clause, joining data sets using join with on, we will also talk about performing aggregations. We will cover both global aggregations or total aggregations as well as by key or grouped aggregations. Finally, we will see sorting the data and then we will actually talk about the final solution as conclusion. If you are going to use CLIs instead of JupyterHub, you might have to use one of these interfaces, Spark SQL or Spark Shell or PySpark using Scala or Python as programming languages. Just launch using these commands. If it is Spark SQL, whatever I am going to demonstrate as part of the Jupyter Hub, you just have to copy paste and run directly in Spark SQL. If it is Spark Shell or PySpark, you have to use the spark.sql function, pass the query or command as string, and then finally you have to invoke show function to actually see the results if you want to see the results. In between, I will be focusing on Spark Shell or PySpark so that you are comfortable. However, the main content will be primarily driven by Jupyter Hub and you can leverage Spark SQL and you should be able to copy paste those commands into Spark SQL. If you are using our labs, you can practice using the Jupyter Hub itself where we have provided the Spark SQL magic command using Scala related kernel. In some places we will be using some Scala code but predominantly it will be SQL queries using percentage percentage SQL which is nothing but SQL magic command in Jupyter. Okay, so stay tuned and learn how to perform all the basic transformations using this section. This section will not cover the key aspects with respect to DDL and DML and also all the important functions we have to apply row level transformations. Those will be covered as part of the subsequent sections. First we'll focus on basic transformations, then we'll get into DDL and DML, then we'll actually talk about all the important functions, then we'll get into some advanced topics such as window functions, then we will conclude the overall uh, module of processing data using Spark SQL.